Just a quick video on the Evolve all-terrain. Um, it's pretty well stock. Um, the battery itself has um, has pooped out. It sags a lot. It's a common, common thing when a LiPo gets old. It's just dropping some cells. So I've added a 10S pack uh, myself. As you can see, uh, this is just your average uh, DC watt power meter. Uh, you can see that currently the current is drawing a 2.71. It is on, and it's probably just drawing that into the standard pack because the standard battery pack, um, like I say, it's a bit. Yeah, I have have charged it, but it's probably a, a bit um, high resistance and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, so that's probably where the draw is coming from. Um, this has got a big shunt. This will uh, measure up to 100 amps. Um, if this is supposed to be two 1500 watt motors, um, I think I did the maths before. I think it was like um, close to 80 amps at uh, 36 volts, and at the moment it's 40 odd, so um, it shouldn't really be drawing that high. But the good thing is that this thing will actually do the maths for you and work out how much power it's drawing. So if we minus 100 or so watts uh, as we do the test, um, then it should be fairly accurate. I have used this um, on a large QS205 hub motor and that was a 4000 watt motor and sure enough, yeah, it easily pulls 4000 watts and this measures easily 4000 watts on there. I've done little smaller hub motors on push bikes and stuff like that, you know, 1000 watt stuff, 2000 watt uh, mid drive, yada yada, and as expected, um, it's pulling, pulling the amps and it does the calculations and works it out. So this is really obviously a really rough setup. It's really rough um, just because I haven't gotten the time yet to fit an actual better lipo pack to the board, but we'll just uh, straighten him up. Just got him up against the wall. Um, it's on uh, low power safe mode. And kind of as expected, it's only drawing a few amps. So we'll chuck him up. It's hard to see this stuff in the light, isn't it? Well, let's just do this a bit quicker. Slow. No, don't worry about that. Eco. Does anyone care? Maybe people care. Six, five, eight, eight amps. That's pretty much the peak it'll draw is about eight amps. Less load. Yeah, about eight amps. Okay. So screw eco. Uh, Brokers, what's wrong with this thing? Well, anyway, it's on fast. You'll have to believe me. It vibrated. So that's about 17 amps on fast. That's uh, red. Why is this focus? Focus. No. Okay. And then we'll go GT. Let's see if we can. Sorry, peeps. There you go. GT mode. Heaps of battery. Take this off here. Let's go on the concrete. I'm gonna do this. Sorry, I haven't really played this too well. it stalls out and slips on some oh, shit. Alright, that's melting. Um, yeah. Like it's cool doing a burnout and stuff and I don't know what it's slipping on. The motors aren't even hot. The ESC just feeling underneath. ESC is okay. Just give it another little rip. See if I can get a bit more. Focus. What is it the light or something? I can't do that either. Oh, all right. So yeah. Watch the power, watch the bolts. 
Uh, good. Sort of keeping, trying to keep it straight as well. Yeah, something's slipping in here. I don't know what it is on the belt. Ah, oh, it's the belt. It's kind of a little, still a little bit loose. Maybe. Well, in any case, maybe I'll hold the hold the motors and do that. Yeah, 40, 40 amps, 38. Yeah, I can only pull 40. One more little shot. Is my shoes okay? No, it's chilling out my shoe. Well, that's it. Anyway, <clears throat> I can't get um, 3,000 watts. Not a lot of voltage sag, as you would have seen. Um, the watts aren't there. The amps aren't there to support the watts, obviously. I don't know. It doesn't need burnout. Destroyed a tyre. Kind of melted the other one. Extreme load test. I don't know, man. <clears throat> Stalled out. Not 3,000 watts.